Hi, hello traders. Morning and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, May 31st, 2023. I'm Giovanni Benacler, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. Well, we are seeing somewhat of a um, some news coming out of China, out of Asia, that has made the markets kind of giddy. Uh, and so we're trading lower today. Now that we traded anywhere higher yesterday, we did to trade higher yesterday on the NASDAQ, but we actually closed flat for the day yesterday. Uh, some news coming out of China that the uh, their economy hasn't really uh, picked up as it planned to be. Uh, this week, we there are some CEOs in China like Jimmy Diamond and Elon Musk where Elon Musk talks about the two economies should be like twins, uh, talking about China and the U.S., and that you know they, they should lower their tones and, and when it comes to politics and, and whatnot. Uh, the same token goes with uh, Jamie Diamond. So all of that being said, we are seeing today that the markets are not looking to trend lower. We are in the overbought territory for the NASDAQ. So all of this boom uh, around AI and NVIDIA, I think that this is settling now. And now that the month is ending, perhaps because it's at not end of the month, we could probably be seeing some rollover uh, positions, closing out some positions, taking profit, taking some money off the table. So a lower fluctuation is, is appreciated in the, uh, in the indices, especially in NASDAQ, since we are in, in oversold territory. The S and P 500 is sure, uh, you know, trading lower from that 4200 uh, support level, psychological support level now. So 4150 could be that target. As far as for the Dow, it is pushing lower, so 32800 uh, could be met easily. Then we have crude oil that has also because of the uh, of the lagging of the year of the China Chinese economy could probably be putting some pressure on, on crude oil, but at the same time, token, this values around $60, $65, $70 is what the U.S. wanted to see it so they could come back in and purchase it and just refurbish their SPR. So we could probably see perhaps an, another, another attempt at breaking that $67 support level in crude oil. Not gas, I mean, sorry, uh, crude oil, uh, gold, it is pushing higher above 1970. So 1980 is my target. As far as for silver, 23 and a half is my target, being bullish on silver. And then we have Bitcoin that is trading lower, 2680, 2650 is my target. Uh, the Euro did uh, made another attempt at 106.5, is retracing from there. Uh, back up to 107, see if that holds. Then we have the pound that actually has fluctuated above our resistance. So let's put 24.5 as for resistance in the pound. And the dollar index, after making a nice rally to the upside, is retracing now. 104 is the psychological level. Let's see if that holds. Okay. And if it doesn't hold and trace lower, then we'll see a rally on, on, the, on the indices, I mean, on gold, the metals, and currencies. Have a great trading day, and I will see you tomorrow.